Hello guys, this is Proud Pidgeyzad and welcome to episode 4 of our Let's Play July campaign. In the last episode, we built up Quintus Julius's massive army. The only, the, only pro the only thing I would change is instead of having all the Hestati, I'd have them as Princope. Because they're 8, 12, 16, they're 8, 12, 14. Not too much of a change, I suppose. Uh, we tamed Nabo Martius and we defended Alicia. Uh, we retained Alicia, actually, we defended Lagundum. So. Um, the fact you're gonna move, Ooh, it's a Britain army doing down there. Ah, oh, it's nothing. So I think actually I'm gonna take you and leave the Romans. I trust them to defend my city. And we're gonna come in here and take the Gallic. The is it Gallic or Gallic? Um, take that capital. I'm never too sure. No, Gallic is like Gaelic. And that was at Scotland, but I don't know if the goals are with that too. So financial, let's see, we're, oh, we're making just under 3,000 a ton. We're doing fine, I was worried there with just the big bit of armies that I've got just now. But like I suggest, I could get me 1,500 a ton is really helping. And um, let's see what's happening, end of turn, yep, 3,700. Oh, Patavium expands. It's more important than the armoury just now, because structure report Aretium and Araminum. It's always weird saying that Araminum. Aretium, you can have the Arena. Then they also take Jupiter in the dockyard. Quintus. Move, yeah, wrong button. Have you watched Tower? And now I'm noticing my videos, you'll be able to see my cursor now. I just, I did notice, I watched over one of my videos earlier, and I was saying, look, over here, I here, and the cursor wasn't there. So I have sorted that out, because that would be pretty annoying, you just wouldn't have a clue what I'm talking about. And we'll merge them all. And, ooh, there's a wee Gallic army there. Oh, we're down at £10,000. Oh, that would be because I just spent a bit in Aretium and Araminum. Oh, the Gundam, I never noticed an army there. Gonna attack it. I've got some men up at Alicia. £17,000. It's a prop. Profit's minus 9000 but we've done well there. And who's attacking me? It's just Swordsman. But I will send a small relief column. Just to make sure, more than anything else, really. Um, but bum bum. The Gundam is found there. At least it doesn't need to build anything. Uh, ooh, oh, that's just that one unit there, right? Never mind. And I'm gonna take away that shrine to Isis and build a shrine to Jupiter. And I'll just may as well destroy this army. Just while I'm there. Maybe while I. Oh, good. Balearic Slingers. I was just going to say, maybe in Spain I'll get, start to get some Slingers. Um, and now they're attacking Alicia. So, what I'll do. Oh, that looks like a family member. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack. Uh, defend the Gundam. I've used not exactly where I mean when I say the Gundam, the Gundam, or whatever. Oh, wrong button. Let's try it like that. 439, just get that, clear victory up. And then at. I will send. Four units of turn watch back to help me there. So recruit. I will recruit another couple. Well, there is. I could recruit some Hestati there. I think I will just to defend myself. Um. Yep. You're, oh, you can attack that family. Man. 3 to 2 to me, they've got a big army. So I will fight this, this will probably take up most of this episode, probably I think this is going to be a big battle. 
which suits me fine because um, I'm actually racing through this campaign so far so it would be good to get an extra couple of episodes out of it. So we'll start deployment now. I'm attacking them so I will have to move towards them. But I'm going to go in here. Now on the front line I'm going to have four units of his statue. In fact in front of them I'm going to have my archers and my VATs. My four units of Hestati uh, behind them, directly behind them will be my Prink page. I'll have a wee unit of Hestati either flank there just to protect it. Two units of Equities properly on the flanks. I don't see what I, in fact I don't need to group my Hestati. And I'll just put my General to be the back. Yep, that's fine, so ungroup them. Infantry have them all firing at will. And they'll run them because they've got a lot of men. Um Missile will take off skirmish just now. I need to watch out because these chariots are lightning fast as you did notice last time. What's that? Is that the war dogs? Yep, what else is moving? They're all moving up to the side. There's that all of mine moved. That is so, so I'm moving forward. Um, that's fine. I think they're starting to spread their lanes really wide. Is that some peasants they've got as well? Was that the naked fanatics? Oh, I've got peasants. Swordsmen. Most swordsmen. So I've got swordsmen at this flank, which is quite a tough flank. What's that warband? Possibly two warbands that went on for quite a while. That, that, the swordsman. Warband. Warband. Third warband. War peasants. Warband. Warband. So we'll move up again. And this time we both run. Because I think this time my archers might be in range. Are they running back? Now surely at least one of my archers can fire. No, but they are moving. Um yep, archers the way it is. The way I find them I stopped them. It's fine. Can the archers fire from there though? Well they can now that they're marching in.
Alright, so they're gonna hold there. Oh, good job of post that there. I'm just gonna swamp that there. Uh, where's my third unit has started? They're gonna come in there just to cover the flanks if I get them to run, yep. These two are sending out wider. And this unit has started will come in here. And my four units have started at the front. That will keep them there. They're reloading, yep, yeah, they're cavalry. I know it was a headlong charge. The VATs were pretty much just there to hold them. How the rest of my army get ready? I must admit they're doing a grand job. Ah, let them come back now. Now I'm throwing my spears. So so far they've lost what fourteen percent. That's quite a big bit. Uh, my cavalry at the top here. Um, I just left my cavalry there, which isn't a good idea. Yeah, I'm going to get my cavalry out of there because their generals coming down, so I'll just send my cavalry there. Right, so they'll march all the way down here, yep. They didn't move in the formation I wanted them to move in, but they did move up and it's perfect. Good, they've got spears, they'll be able to throw spears at that warband probably. And the archers can fire. So I'll just drop at the game speed just now. You can see all the arrows getting fired. Now we're going to speed the warband, we're just going to charge in there to my Hastati. And now they're routing. Yeah, I'll wait till this warband charges in, then I will move up. Um, they're just getting peppered down by arrow fire. I think arrow fire is actually aimed at the other warband unit. I think I'm actually losing a couple of these guys. Due to friendly fire. So formations don't seem to want to work my way just now. And they're routing. It's fine, my arts are just papering them. And we see another ball just coming now. Oh, 
Just about 10 I'm going to kill. Oh, two volleys. So I'll try about game speed to get to here. Good formation. So always gonna be out. I think they're actually starting to retreat. I they turned around, which is me. Actually, right at the edge of the map. Uh, I'm going to bring my general on. I actually think our general was left the battlefield. But yet another episode of my general couldn't oh, continue the battle. in here, look, there's 75% and I'm dead. But with a mountain I'm about. Pretty much all did just run and get killed there. If they stayed and fought, they would have killed us quite a decent amount of mine. So it was a long drawn out battle. But oh my god, look at that. Equities, my four units of equities done a thousand, it's just under two thousand ourselves. So well done. And they never really get much experience. Excuse me, there, still got a struggle with me, but yeah, sniffles. So that was a good victory. That was a, probably the big army, which means I won't have to deal with it later on. 
trait increase. Oh, plus one command, I'd like to think so. So we'll build a wee watchtower just because I'm that nice a person. And that's who I was fighting there, yep, but I don't care about him, I'm actually going to go to the town. Mm, do, 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 do. There's something else, yep. You've moved your lot. Yeah, yeah, you're useless. Oh, there's a big goal army. I was hoping Spain would be able to defeat Gaul there, uh, but so now their attack will be here. That's too easy a victory. They're full of peasants. I'd realised that when I sent my men over. Well, I suppose it would have probably swamped my defences. Popularity falls, really? Mediolanium gets bigger. Structure report, Aretium, Arena. Can not get the nah, can I get the better arena? Build the games. Gives me more money, that's fine. And at least I retrain everything. Play equities here. That's fine. And you just five magnetium. A faction air sign sin for sin for sin for sign for whatever. That's fine. We actually conquered quite a bit. If you look at down at the mini map down the bottom left, there's actually quite a bit of land. Even though it's not the most regions, it's quite a bit of land. Age 16, where are you? A ribbon, I'm perfect. You could wait there for my next. Um, my next lot of battles, my next um, army, sorry. Right, let's see what I've got. I, I knew I wouldn't have that, but I've got 3 out of 6. Which, that's fine by me. Senate mission failure, who cares? Uh, most advanced faction in Egypt, that's fine. Tavion. Perfect army barracks. Catapult range don't bother me too much. Hippodrome and a catapult range. Are we going there? So I'm just going to make sure everybody's got a couple of things to build. Yep, everywhere it can build anyway. Yeah, that's fine, so. I retrain them, that's fine. End of turn. Blockade Sparta. Suppose I'm not really too bored about raging war in Greece, they're the strongest faction. Maybe that's why they want me to do that to actually help them out. Uh, let's see, it's not even showing. Oh, Thrace has come out quite a bit from Bailazora. As we see here, Brutai should be winning. Greece are good, but they're not really anything compared to the old bit Roman steel. Fact is, Matt, where is my agent? Uh, you might attack me this turn, along with the insides of that city. If he does, he does. It wouldn't bother me. I think I could beat him. Side, there, they? Oh, nothing. Certainly be seized like Dunham again. Basically I'm just sending my spy here just to find out exactly where the cities are. 
And there's where you found them. Perfect. See, look, potatoes still 4%. 4% of 16840. Oh, wait, I'll just get my calculator. This is just every turn. 16840. I'm getting 673 people per turn. And obviously it increases because it's another 4% of that as well. So that's quite a considerable amount of people per turn. That's like four full units every turn I could just keep buying. Or training, I should say. Let's see, town grows my cellar. Construction report. Oh, my cellar with the blacksmith. Faction announcements do a farmer member. A farmer tree must be some size. Aye, loads of new farmer members. Three more tons for Morganotasium, or whatever you've got to call it. I'm not in any rush whatsoever, I could just wait it out. It would be because I'm inside, ooh, there's a Britain army, maybe I should attack it. Construction report, Mediolanium, that's fine. Um, so I will start to get some more things in there, Patavium. See the public order, if you go to sh settlement details, it's always a squalor. So actually, where's... Now you could uh, you've got a lot of influence. So you will help greatly there. Britain Army's not much either, so I'll just wait that out. Uh, where could you go? Mm, ah, why not? Just to see what they've got that capital. If I leave it to the end, then I suppose I don't need to worry about the goals coming from behind me. Oh, yep, probably dock you, pal. Town expands, where's that Luvabum? And Calais, just. Uh, See, 140 percent. That's how much he had himself. Just helps it. Governors have lost 30 percent public order. Yep, squalors quite a bit here. So we will need to get them in soon. Get some sort of barbarian cavalry in there just to get help me, just because it will be a big battle when it happens. And yep, everything else is doing fine. Now, 3 to 2. Oh, it's actually not that bad. So I'll fight it on the battle map. They've come out for me, so I pro in fact, I don't know who attacked me, so I might be on my arms right at the start, or I might not. I'm not 100% sure. Get a drink there. Um, there is a couple of family members here, so it th I would say so that they probably will be very important. And ooh, there's a big rock there that I could use. Um, right, so her statue. Archels to the front. I'm going to put my VT behind. Um, cavalry, take with you. In fact, you can come over here just in case I need you. My general here. 
They're spread out. And just three spread out. I don't need don't need anyone else. So they are coming from pretty much every direction. Which don't bother me. The reason we've got one set of crossbow here is because that um, rock there is protecting my flank. Over here I will put my horsemen slightly to the side. Now they are coming in so my archers will hit them. Just triple the game speed. i going to bring my general across here because they are generals there. My two units of VATs will go there with the cavalry actually behind them. Archers will only be long fan, what's that? What? I don't know that's what it was, I wouldn't have focused so much on leaving them in there. We've got his start there just to be safe. Oh, I think he, he just got a chevron. They will just route. Yeah, that's fine by me. They are not soldiers, only rats. Now over here what do they have in fact? Slingers can fire if they want. Ooh, it's I'm dead. I'll just be Captain something, Captain Caradog. Um, over where the Principes are. Yep, my two archers are there. Read it. And they're firing over. Perfect. So, the slingers, there's not enough of them to actually cause much damage, especially if they're, like they're actually going to come and aim at the archers. They've no armor on. So, they are just going to die. The spears are all getting flung in there, yep, they're routing. Yep, and your general would come in soon. And now our general has come in and shown him. Yep, I knew we'd route, so that's why I've got my barbarian cavalry chase. Don't need them to chase him. It's fine by me. That's fine, that's my. So that's fine. Thrust on, and they've lost just over a quarter of their armor. No speed, so get them off a of skirmish. Bring them up here. 
or head hurlers, they're quite good. They do literally what it says in a tin. They just hurl heads at folk. Um, I was just going to say there, Barbarian Warlords, especially in the middle there, he is just going to lose a lot of men. I want to kill the leader. Even though I did say beforehand, don't get, don't try not to engage the slingers. Eh, no, the slingers. Ah, I got away. Um, no, the slingers. The chariots because of the scythes. I would have lost. A, I wouldn't mind losing a unit to kill him. Cause I can't have much family members left. Cause I've killed a few of them already. So clearly won the battle. So MVP pretty close, but it was Roman archers. 105, 15, yep. Oh well, it's quite a decent battle. A lot quicker than I expected it to be. We've ran over the half hour mark again because of the battle, but I think it's fine. Did I take the city? Oh, I do occupy. Yeah, there's still quite a lot of wee armies round about there, so they might attack it. Strongest faction, I would like to think so. Construction report, Patavio Man, the Barracks, Masilla Governor's Palace, and Client Kingdom established. So now I can retrain the statue that I had at the beginning. And what does it do to give it now? No experience. 8317. It's a charge bonus. This is 8216, so it's mostly not that much better. We've just got spears. That is it. And while they are fighting. Yeah, I think I'm going to go to Tria. That will separate them all a bit and I'm on. So thank you very much for watching guys. That is all for the part 4. Um, in the next part I'll hopefully get Limonum. Probably Condate Redenum. And we'll destroy Britain's hold in France. Then we might even go into Britain to fight them ourselves. Um, and then into Spain probably. Let's see, regions control, we've got 13 regions, we basically pretty much all we need to do is defeat Gaul, and we have one, but I think because it's such a quick one, I will go for another couple of my own personal aims, such as maybe take Britain, or take conquer the full of Spain, but thank you very much for watching, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe, and when you do subscribe, make sure you hit the bell next to the subscription button, and to get the notifications first hand. Thanks for watching, proud Pete out, to the new.